Hi, everyone. Today, I'm going to read you this story called When Aiden Became a Brother. Looks like a happy family with a mom and dad, Aiden, and I think they have a cat and maybe the mom's going to have another baby. That's what it looks like. When Aiden was born, everyone thought he was a girl. His parents gave him a pretty name. His room looked like a girl's room, and he wore clothes that other girls liked wearing. It does look like a fun room, but it doesn't look like Aiden's happy there, does it? As Aiden got bigger, he hated the sound of his name. He felt like his room belonged to somebody else, and he always ripped or stained his clothes accidentally on purpose. Everyone thought he was just a different kind of girl. Some girls had rooms full of science experiments and bug collections, and lots of girls didn't wear dresses. But Aiden didn't feel like any kind of girl. He was really another kind of boy. It was hard to tell his parents what he knew about himself, but it was even harder not to took everyone some time to adjust. And they learned a lot from other families with transgender kids like him. Aiden explored different ways of being a boy. He tried out lots of names until one stuck. They changed his bedroom into a place where he belonged. He also took much better care of his new clothes. I think that might be because Aiden really felt comfortable in the clothes he was wearing now. Then one day, mom and dad had something to tell him. I'm going to have a baby, mom announced. A baby, Aiden says. Does that mean I get to be the big brother? Well, of course, said dad, ruffling his hair. Aiden thought that being a big brother was an important job for a boy like him. He wanted to make sure this baby felt understood right away. Aiden's very compassionate, isn't he? Because I think what we've learned so far about him is he didn't really feel understood right away. He wants to make sure his baby does. The baby needed clothes, so Aiden and his mom went shopping. Oh, there were so many choices. Would the baby like seahorses or penguins better? Are you having a boy or a girl? asked a lady. Aiden didn't like it when people asked if he was a boy or a girl, and he hoped the baby couldn't hear yet. He was glad when mom just smiled and said, I'm having a baby. The baby's room needed to be painted, so Aiden and dad went to the hardware store. Dad chose a gallon of sky blue paint, and Aiden added a puffy white cloud. A puffy cloud white. <laughs> Are you excited for your new brother or sister, asked the paint guy. I'm excited to be a big brother, Aiden said. The paint guy looked a little confused, and Aiden could tell he wanted to ask a different question, and he was glad to have his dad there. The big rollers were fun to paint with. The room feels just like being outside, Aiden exclaimed. He had always felt trapped in his bedroom before they fixed it, but his new sibling wouldn't have to feel that way. You're right, said Dad. Let's make some shapes in the clouds. Every baby needs a name. Aiden loved getting to choose his own, but he remembered that it had been hard for his parents to let go of the name that they gave him. He looked for names that could fit this new person, no matter who they grew up to be. Let's look at some of the names it seems like Aiden's exploring. Maybe Sky or Forest, Willow, 
sage, moss, leaf, cloud, rain, river. Those are wonderful names. One of the things I've noticed is those names don't need to be assigned to a boy or a girl. They're just a name for a new person. Babies need someone to read to them. So Aiden practiced and practiced and practiced. Seems like Aiden wants to be the best big brother he can. I'm so excited for him. Dad wanted to teach Aiden how to change diapers. Mm, maybe later, said Aiden. He decided that picking flowers for his mom was more important. Two weeks before the baby's due date, Aiden started to worry. Maybe he should have picked different clothes. The blue walls might be too bright. He wished he could ask the baby what they like best. Mom came to tuck him in. Are you feeling okay, sweetie? She asked. Aiden put his hands over where he thought the baby's ears would be. Do you think the baby will be happy with everything? He whispered. I don't want them to feel like I did when I was little. But what if I get everything wrong? What if I don't know how to be a good big brother? Mom hugged him tight. When you were born, we didn't know you were going to be our son. We made some mistakes, but you helped us fix them. And you taught us how important it is to love someone for exactly who they are. This baby is so lucky to have you, and so are we. The next morning, Aiden found the boxes of his old baby pictures. He looked so different back then. It hadn't been easy, but he liked the boy he was growing into. Maybe everything wouldn't be perfect for this baby. Maybe he would have to fix mistakes he didn't even know he was making. And maybe that's okay. I love the balloons at this baby party. It just says it's a baby, not a boy or a girl, because it really doesn't matter. Aiden knew how to love someone, and that was the most important part of being a big brother. The end. I think that this is one of the most beautiful stories I've read in a long time. There's so many lessons here, but I think the most important one is a little bit about what Aiden's mom talked about is that the most important thing that we can do for one another is to love each other exactly the way we are and not to wish one another different, to just love. And I think Aiden is going to be the best big brother ever. I hope you enjoyed this story and that you come back so I can read to you again soon. In the meantime, have a great day, everyone. Bye for now.